received an ankle injury in that cup replay against Brighton on Wednesday. It's still not quite right, but he plays, and it's his first game in London since joining Newcastle. Manager Arthur Cox is able to name an unchanged Newcastle team, like Keegan, 17-year-old Neil MacDonald, also received an ankle injury in that match against Brighton, and he too is fit. Newcastle have now gone five games without a win. Well, Queen's Park Rangers, who've won only one of their last five, now have Peter Hucker back in goal. He missed last week's cup match at West Bromwich Albion with a shoulder ligament trouble. Uh, John Gregory also returns after being out with a groin strain, but Glenn Roder is dropped, and Gary Waddock gets his second game following a cartilage operation. And the referee is Les Burden from Dorset. So Rangers in the hoop shirts of blue and white get us away, attacking the goal to our left. With Newcastle United in those familiar magpie stripes of black and white. Varadi is brought down and it produces the first free kick of the game for Newcastle. We know really that a win today is the number one requirement, of course, because if they lose more ground here, then it could well be that there'll be too much for them to make up in what remains of the season. 19 points behind Wolves, the leaders, 11 points behind Fulham, who are lying third. That's the Newcastle predicament in a week when they've also, of course, been knocked out of the FA Cup. Well, maybe Kevin Keegan can do something about it today. Fennick. by Micklewhite, a good cross under pressure, and Clive Allen couldn't quite get the header that he wanted at the near post. And full of confidence now. Flag waving furiously over there for a foul by Virardi on Warren Neal, who takes the free kick, and finds Ian Dawes. Gregory. Dawes. Just got a touch in there. Five Allen. And they've got to stop him. Oh, they did. Right at the end. Kenny Ward just got in there and saved it on the line when it looked as though Allen had eluded them all. After that challenge went away, it was a little flick with the outside of the boot and Wharton to the rescue. Dummy by Seeley. A clearance by Anderson. A good ball there for Waddock. Going all the way, possibly Waddock. No. <laughs> well, it was tough for him. He saw the goal opening up and the possibilities with it. And then the slip right at the very last when he was just drawing back that left boot to have a crack at Kevin Carr's goal. Oh. McDonald. Neil. Hazel. Waddock. To Flanagan. Seeley. And Gregory with the shots. A hit straight at Carr. And mercifully, the first half comes to an end. The first half of umpteen free kicks. Little classy football. One real chance when Clive Allen had a shot kicked off the line by Kenny Wharton. A little else, and a half-time score at Loftus Road. Queen's Park Rangers nil, Newcastle nil. Nil-nil, and Newcastle get the second half underway. Attacking the goal now to our left. Remember, they're in the striped shirts and black shorts. Rangers lying second in the second division table, and Newcastle 12th.
And after a first half where it's fair to say neither side even began to get to grips with this artificial surface. Let's hope something's better coming in the second half. Ferrari now finding one all. And so close to scoring a surprise opening goal for Newcastle, whose attacks in the first half were few and far between. Good work by Verardi, lifted it through for Waddle, hit it first time, but a fraction wide of the far post. Nickel White now, not a very good clearance by Wharton. Nickel White hoping to go all the way, and in the end, it was young Neil McDonald, the 17-year-old, who stuck to his job so well and just held off Gary Nickel White. But at the expense of a corner for Rangers. So Flanagan again left footed with the corner, deep towards Fennec. That might go anywhere. Well, it's gone in. There was a ricochet, and they've gone to applaud Gregory. And Rangers, in curious circumstances, have gone into the lead. Corner came in, Gregory with the chance. And the clearance came back off the number 11 with great nonchalance, accepts that it's his goal. QPR 1, Newcastle 0. John Gregory back from injury, puts Rangers ahead. A strange goal, but a valid one. Clark, under a lot of pressure, just lifts the ball over Allen. of two evils, and here's Flanagan, about to take it. Again, Berry is forward, or rather, Hazel is forward. Cleared quite comfortably at the near post by Anderson. Nickel White, good save! Well, Nickel White caught that well. He's had a good game. And Carr did well. So Flanagan again with the corner. A special signal. And what does it mean this time? It's a deeper one. And although Fennick came up quickly from the back, he didn't make a reasonable contact. In fact, he fouled a Newcastle defender as he went in, and it'll be a free kick. An effort wanted there by Kenny Wharton. And some players adapt well, and some are always unhappy on this surface, and he's adapted pretty well. Rangers throw. It's as good as a corner for Rangers, which Flanagan will take. A lot of movement in that Newcastle penalty area by the Rangers players. And uh, Clive Allen on the turn, but a yard or so wide. A deeper corner. Clark stretching and didn't get to it. Gregory once again is in there. Allen on the turn, but just wide. What a putting Sealy through. forward, including Big Bob Hazel and Terry Fennick, 
And Newcastle now have everybody back inside their own penalty area. Again, a deep one. Waddle getting up well, using his height, the youngster, to just nick it on. And Rangers with a throw. Gary Waddock with it. Neil. Cross in by the young fullback. Here he goes. Well met by Clive Allen. But off the top of the crossbar. Keegan trying a little flick off there. There wasn't a lot of support up though. Oh, and Wharton. <laughs> very nimble and very neat. And he got him out of trouble. Keegan's header down for Martin. Played wide for Waddle. And it was as well when he was as tall as he was to keep it in play. It's one, uh, it's Neil McDonald now with a good long shot, clearing that Rangers bar. He hit the Brighton bar with a tremendous drive on Wednesday night in the FA Cup. So he's by no means afraid to have a pop at goal, but that was always going just a little too hard. Keegan. Waddle. Oh, deliberate handball there, and McDermott was getting in behind him. This is trouble for Bob Hazel, and he knows it. Now, the crowd was shouting off, 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 which has become, sadly, the custom these days. And it's whether Les Burden regards the fact that McDermott was getting into a goal-worthy position behind him. Now, his name's gone into the book stays on the field and Newcastle gets a free kick and it's Verardi who's going off and young Paul Ferris who comes on Ferris you may remember played his first game as a 17 year old at Charlton when our cameras were there a little earlier in the season and hit the post in fact Now, can Newcastle, can they produce something from this free kick? Waddle, Keegan and McDermott with Keegan. Pushed it into the wall. Now, Clive. Well, Sealy, has he got the legs? McDermott's back there showing great enthusiasm to get back there in the battle. And now, Ferris, his first touch, taking on Hazel. was the winner. <laughs> Steve Carney. John Anderson, a long ball forward. Ten minutes remaining. And now Clive. Gregory has already scored one. And now scores another. one as he goes around the Newcastle defence, cuts inside, right foot, past car, back of the net, 2-0. Five this season so far, before today, and now he takes his total to seven. And his influence throughout the midfield has been of the highest order, John Gregory, this afternoon. Free kick quickly taken. It's with Mickle White. That's a good cross as well. And a good save. Again, Clive Allen can't believe it. He hasn't scored for a few games now, six. He's hit the crossbar with a header. He saw that one just pushed away by Kevin Carr. Flanagan. He hasn't 
and have the best of luck. And hard push to keep that one out. Flanagan again, deep cross, and the header going wide all the time by Fennick. And a goal kick. score of both the Rangers goals one something of a fluky one it appeared and the other one much more orthodox McDermott's header Martin played wide for Waddle that's an interesting ball if McDonald can get to which he can't but Goes to Wharton. And Dermott. Can Martin get there? He can't. It was a brave save and a good one by Hucker. Waddle. Oh, there's a bit of space here for McDonald, maybe. No. Michael White is the man who dispossesses him. And Rangers get a throw. of the afternoon, 90 minutes are up and Rangers are leading 2-0. Final whistle, a victory for Rangers and a second half that's marginally made up for the disappointment of the first with John Gregory, the scorer of both the Rangers' goals. There he does.